Well, it's check, 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 check. Well, it's another one. Hey everyone, it's your boy Rally here with another interesting video. Today we look at two fish often kept in small spaces. Indeed, these fish are the betta fish and the goldfish. The goldfish. Keeping goldfish in a bowl is a common practice amongst the novice fish keeper. It's is viewed as a simple means of keeping and caring for a pet. The goldfish bowl is usually small in size and is usually the home for one single fish. A goldfish can grow as much as a koi. Its growth most times is inhibited by the hormones it releases in the water which prevent its growth if not changed at regular intervals. A goldfish is a pooper. In a bowl with no filtration and limited space and water to in and to receive much oxygen, issue will occur. The main issue is that, short shelf life of a typical goldfish. A goldfish in a bowl usually suffer from several ailments. The most obvious is the retarding of its growth due to limited space and small water volume. Although it may somewhat look cool in a bowl on your office desk or in the living room on the centerpiece, a goldfish would do better in aquarium. A goldfish can be tanked with several fish species. Once the rule of the mouth is followed and its tank mates are docile, it should do just great. A goldfish can be tanked with guppies, swordtails, koi, carp, placos and several other fish species. Note it while not do well with fish that nips at its fins such as barbs and tetras. It will most likely be beaten to death by any cichlid and in some case even be eaten. Goldfish comes in several colors which makes choices based on colors very exciting. The betta fish. The betta fish also known as the fighter fish in some regions, are elegant in arrangement and colors. They are however commonly kept in small jars on a shelf, somewhere. This is partly due to the restriction in tank mate option. A betta fish loves the idea of being flamboyant, the male that is. A male betta will not tolerate another male betta in the same space. They will fight to the death. Hence the name fighter fish. Female betta fish are easily kept together as a sorority. They can also be kept with several other species of fish, more in comparison to the betta male. The betta male tank mates may be, coolie loach, ghost shrimps, barbs, neon tetra, ember tetra and guppies. In some cases however betta males have killed male guppies as they feel the guppies tail color competes with their awesome look. I have visited several pet shop, commonly known throughout the world as LFS, store, and have seen several betta in small spaces. No risk is being taken to house these fighting fish with other fish due to their unpredictable state of mind. Whenever these fish do spawn and fries do come to fruition, the work of separating fries by sex gets difficult. If you fail to do this they will eventually kill each other. It is as a result of this, I have no interest in breeding betta fish. It requires multiple storage facilities or containers. As a result of this flaw in their character many persons have opted to keep them for their beauty but keep them in small spaces. To me personally this makes little sense. Every betta fish has its own likes and dislikes. You may include a few ember tetra in a betta aquarium today here and both do get along and the next day you do the same elsewhere and problems develop. Let me know what you think about these two fish species. Share in the comment section below.